<laughs> well, hello, everybody. I'm Ray Nunn. This is my beautiful wife. Tracy. Baby love. Yeah. Oh, baby love. Uh, That's my eye. Oh, you're really like Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay go. I'd be more like this. Baby love. Okay. Okay. All right. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Now, yes, yes, hey, yes. hey, I'm glad y'all enjoy yourself. We are enjoying ourselves. Praise the Lord. <laughs> well, we just have fun. This is, this is good. I mean, okay. Our scripture today is Galatians chapter 6. Verses seven and eight. Six, seven, eight. Yes, got it. There you go. Okay. You got it and in the King James it says this be not deceived. Mm. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap ever life everlasting. Wow. Yours is so short compared to mine. Okay. So Galatians six. Oh, six, seven, and eight. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Lay them straight. Anyway, uh -huh. uh, do not be deceived and deluded and misled. God will not allow himself to be sneered at, scorned, disdained, or mocked by mere pre pretension or mm. professions or by his precepts being set aside. He inevitably deludes himself who attempts to delude God. Mm. For whatever a man sows, that and that only is what he will reap. And this is eight. For he who sows to his own flesh, lower nature, sensuality, will from the flesh reap decay and ruin mm. and destruction. But he who sows to the spirit will from the spirit reap eternal life. Amen. Mm -hmm. This is good. Because mm -hmm. I, I love this where it says God is mm -hmm. not mocked. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it says, do not be deceived. See, and that it's so plain. See, we read this, don't be deceived, for God is not mocked. Whatever man, whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. Mm -hmm. So it's like, don't deceive yourself. If you sowing bad stuff, mm -hmm. you're gonna reap bad stuff. Mm -hmm. Now we was talking about this week about finances, about giving. Mm -hmm. See, if you're not sowing, mm -hmm. you're not gonna reap it. Mm -hmm. See, giving is of the spirit. That's the nature of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Because the flesh is to keep to yourself. Right. And he says in there, I love how yours says, when you give to the flesh, it's like decaying. Okay? Mm -hmm. Right? Let's read that. Uh, for he who sows to his own flesh, lower nature, sensuality, will from the flesh reap decay and ruin See? and destruction. That's right. It, that's mm -hmm. the selfish nature of man. Without God, every, most of the things we do is decaying. So give an example of someone who sows to the flesh. That's any time we do things that is, I would say. Only a, a benefit to me? Benef not just a benefit to you. Okay. When we sow to the flesh, we do mm -hmm. things that we violate our conscience. We mm -hmm. know is wrong. Deception. Because we say we, this word says be deceived. Mm -hmm. When you doing things. Okay, here we go. Good one. Tax season. Mm -hmm. Sow okay. into the flesh. Mm -hmm. You lie about your taxes. You see people I know. I don't. You know, people used to pretend like somebody else's their child is not oh, their child. Or okay. you lie about what you earn. Well, if you can on that, because if you have a W-2 or Okay, well, you have a well, people, but, people, but people, people get, get people get who, tips and stuff. Oh, that's true. People get yeah. tips and stuff. Or get paid under the table. Or they get paid what they call under the table, mm -hmm. all of that. Yeah. So you, yeah. you, okay, you that makes sow sense. into the flesh. Right, 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 right. And then so you reap things in life. Remember mm -hmm. we talked about... People, when you steal, or what we call stealing from God, mm -hmm. and then things happen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's amazing. Like, I remember, why is this I remember the to Lord me? showed this to me. Mm -hmm. Say somebody tithing. Yep. They refuse to give to God. There's car breakdown or something. So you just said they are tithing or they're not? They're not. Okay, they're okay not so tithing. they're not tithing. Somebody who refused to tithe. Gotcha. Then they get a... They, uh, Their car breaks down. Car breakdown. Mm -hmm. If they look back, mm -hmm. sometimes... Mm -hmm. It caused the car, not mm -hmm. just only what the tithe would have been right. to get it fixed, mm -hmm. sometime a hundred, a, a certain amount of time more. more. Mm -hmm. well, do you remember we were but, watching Gary Cassie one time and he was talking about a guy and darn it, I wish I could remember the whole context of it, but the guy owned like an auto shop and he um, was overcharging people. Remember yes. the guy, um, he needed a new machine of some sorts. And he told the guy that came in, he really just needed an oil change. And the guy said, oh, will you check my spark plugs? 
Well, the spark plugs were fine, but he replaced them anyway, and he honestly didn't replace them. He took the old ones because they didn't cleaned have anything. Up, yep, cleaned, cleaned them up, up and put them back in there and charged him for new ones. Right. And then the machine that he did have did break, and it cost him more. More than what he yeah. charged the other person. Mm-hmm. See, that's what I'm saying, so yeah. to the flesh. Right. Not just, That's just an example, but other things But even this do. guy was a Christian. How, how about this? When you go to the store mm-hmm. and the people give you change back. Yeah. And you oh, knew, and they and give you too much. Give you too much, and people say it's the blessing of the Lord. Mm. No, that person made a mistake. That's so you right. taking advantage of right. somebody's mistake. That's right. That's instead right. of being honest, then later on you go down. Something might your washing machine break, or something mm-hmm. happened, and it's mm-hmm. more than the money you took. That's right. Yeah, See, I know. When I worked retail, remember I used to work for Costco, and I had an older gal that. She meant to give me, I think it was a, it was either a 10 or a 20, and she gave me a 100. And I said, oh, you don't want to give me that. And she goes, oh, my gosh, thank you for being honest. It's like, yeah. for me, it's just a given. There's no, I mean, there's no, you know, obviously, if I find some money on the ground, there's nobody around. I'm not going to be, like, going up to every stranger and go, hey, you know, did you lose this? And I'll be like, sure I did. You know, I mean, honestly. But, right. but in a case like that, you do what's right. Yes. Even even if you're at the store, because a lot of people will have the attitude that if they're at the store and say that checker gives them the wrong amount back and it's more than what, because listen to this, they're really quick if the checker don't give them the right amount, right? If it's not in their favor. Do you know what I'm saying? So like if they were supposed to get $12 back and they only got $11 back, you know, darn good and well, that people are like, oh, you shorted me a dollar. But if they gave them a dollar too much do you th- they're not as quick to say oh you gave me too much right. this is an example i'm gonna finish with this because we over time mm. is remember that show we used to watch what would you do mm. Mm. and then i mm. saw some uh things this last week this guy pretends like he's blind yeah. remember i showed yeah, you that you showed me it. the mm. guy pretend like he's blind and he he's drops some money. Well, he's got a suit. He's got a briefcase. Well, a briefcase, but he drops some money. And people say, oh, but then yet people took some. They don't know they're mm-hmm. filming. Mm-hmm. People took some. But this mm-hmm. one guy mm-hmm. who, who don't look like you wouldn't expect, he says, oh, no, no. And he gives him all of it back. Mm-hmm. Puts it in the suitcase. Put it back in the suitcase. Like, hey, and say, man, be yeah, don't be yeah. here. And he kind of help him. Mm-hmm. And then the guy takes and they bless gives him. him. Yeah, gives him. Just from being honest. Mm-hmm. But it's amazing what people say they wouldn't do. But when they do it, mm-hmm. The opportunity. See, what's in your heart? See, if you sow mm-hmm. to the flesh, mm-hmm. you're going to reap of the flesh. Mm-hmm. Well, it also but, can go back to, remember when people were wearing, you know, the bracelets that said, what would Jesus do? Yeah. I mean, if you kept that mindset all the time, right. what would Jesus do? Well, we, we take stuff just for a slogan. Mm-hmm. And I remember we used to say, I'm a, I said I was going to finish with that. Mm-hmm. Remember we see people acting up in the store or somebody mm-hmm. being rude mm-hmm. to a uh, a That's person, clerk or something, clerk, mm-hmm. and we say, and then there's kids getting in trouble in school. Mm-hmm. They said, "Boy, I can't believe where you get. We don't treat people like." And then we say, "Should we roll the tape on how you treated that right. clerk?" Mm-hmm. And then people say, "Well, I don't know where he got it from. He got it from you, mom and dad. Mm-hmm. That's the way you treat people. Right. So why do you expect your kids to yeah, treat teachers any different, any different way?" Mm-hmm. Well, see, because what mm-hmm. you sow is what, what you're going to reap, whether and it's good or good bad. or bad. Mm-hmm. But Amen. we want to so that's why we live in a way you show love, mm-hmm. you show mercy mm-hmm. towards people, mm-hmm. so you can reap that. Amen. Right, well, y'all have a good day. Hopefully, um, that's good to bless God you. Bless. Sorry God for bless. Going so long. Yeah, God bless Love you. you. Bye. Bye.